course, the fire is really having an impact on some of the businesses out in the gorge. Yeah, with evacuations, folks canceling vacation plans, mm -hmm. some business, businesses hurting. Our Amy Frazier has more from Hood River. Business owners here in Hood River say most of their business right now is from people who live here. They're grateful for that, but they also rely on tourists. It's almost surreal. Business owners say Hood River has been like a ghost town with the Eagle Creek Fire shutting down I-84, the main artery from Portland to Hood River. People usually complain about parking here, but it's pretty easy these days, sadly. This is our, our swimwear. Melissa Tokestad owns a clothing shop called Malika. It's sort of a double whammy because we got hit so hard over the winter as well um, with the ice storms and that um, honestly with, with Hood River in general, I, I'd be surprised if we didn't lose a couple of businesses. Just down the street at Double Mountain Brewery, things are also tough right now. I would say it's been terrible. It's, uh, we're down 50% over last year, and uh, we have almost no out-of-town guests. And it's having a ripple effect. They've had to cut staff hours. Hood River business owners want you to know they're still open for business. You can get here from the Portland area by going over Mount Hood or by taking SR-14. With the extra traffic in Washington, the Skamania General Store has actually been a little busier than usual. Supply, we kind of short, basically pretty much. Uh, uh, we out of fuel, and uh, we, haven't, uh, we haven't got any, uh, basically we didn't get any delivery last week at all because they all come with the big trucks. As he works to get more supplies on the travel route, businesses in Hood River hope visitors will come back and soon. And uh, shopping or eating out in Hood River is the probably the number one way to help local businesses. In Hood River, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.